Hey guys, Braden here, just jumping in to let you know that episode 2 of this series unfortunately got corrupted. However, we didn't miss much. You're going to see a new companion that we find, and he tells us a story about how he goes to a bathhouse at the nighttime, and he promises to marry a ghost bride who actually turns out to be a changeling. And in order to turn her back from a changeling to a girl, we have to get her a necklace, um, a belt, and a name. And in this episode, we focus on getting her that necklace, which is a cross. So that's, that's exactly where we left off. And I'm glad that you guys are here, sticking with the series. And I'll see you guys in the video. Thanks. Hey guys, Wicklings Gaming here, and welcome back to Black Book, where we last left off we had just met the bathhouse bride-to-be and we're trying to get her a cross, a belt, and a name. So that's exactly where we left off. Alright guys, so we're going to be checking out the visitors first. Let's see who's here. Thank you for your help with the banya. Don't thank me yet. We still need to free the girl. It's just that I wouldn't be able to go at all if it weren't for you. Here. I want to give you this. Here, take it. Three seven ace, three seven ace. What's that? A deck of cards. A deck of playing cards or something? Sure is. Been saving them for some time. They are antique, but first class. I'll teach you to play if you wish. They say the devil himself is not averse to a good game of Durak. Sure, I guess let's play some cards real quick. Oh, this is cool. I have no idea how to play, by the way. Welcome to your first game of Dirac. Your goal is to use up all your cards. The last person left with cards in their hands is the loser, the fool, the dung rack. The players take turns attacking the player next to them with one or more cards. Attack Nicole with the six of hearts. Nicole beat your card with his king. Press the end turn button to proceed with the game. At the end of each round, the player takes turns drawing new cards until they have six cards in their hand. It starts with the first attacker of this round. No, oh, end turn, sorry. Nicole attacked you with his eight of clubs to defeat, uh, to defend from this card and put it in the discard pile. You need to play a card of the same suit, but one with a higher rank. So the nine of clubs will work. And we'll end turn. So they want us to attack with the seven of diamonds. Let's do it. See if he has any diamonds. He does, and he beats us. For instance, you can attack with a 10 or another 7. Oh, because of, I started with that? Oh, so he takes the cards. Nicola gave up and picked up the cards, for he has nothing to beat them with. This, is, this turn is yours. Before letting you play on your own, we have to discuss trump cards. Note the trump card. The trump suit is stronger than other suits and can beat all the other cards, even those of the different suit, and even those that are higher in rank. For instance, a trump tin will even beat a king. Since cards with trump suits are stronger, you should decide whether to use them at your first convenience or save them for a crucial point. By the way, the player who has the lowest ranking trump card on his hands goes first. Good luck. Okay, so I have the lowest ranking trump card. I'm actually going to leave this match, if that's possible. Um, leave. Yeah, not feeling the card game, sorry. Let's see the other visitor that I got. Get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it! Okay, Igor's not happy. 
Um, if you guys want to see that actual card game played out, drop a comment down below and let me know that you guys want to see it, and I'll, I'll be sure to play it. Run! He saw us! Wait, maybe they're here in business. Well, speak up. <laughs> oh, Miss Elisa, we saw such a scary thing. West of Yenidor, there's a scariest bar. Evil spirits live there for sure. Why do you say that? See for yourself. They say there used to be a party every day, but now it stands silent as the grave. So it for ourselves. Well, well, you'll wind up in graves yourselves if you go wandering like that. Run! <laughs> okay, let's go talk to... Let's talk to old Igor. The moment I became a Kaldun, I saw the Uyest in a completely different light. There is no such place where a demon wouldn't hide. You just noticed? Your own chords are also a giant pain. Demons are the one turning the grindstones at the mill. Of course. Well, the miller won't turn them, that's for sure. Can't the wind spin them? Do you have to use demons everywhere? It's dangerous, and a sin to boot. Well, what did you expect? It will soon be the 20th century. The demons might make it easier. If they can start making floor, who knows? Maybe we can teach them to reap, too. You've heard of steam engines, huh? I think there's a steam chart inside, like the one you can find in a samovar. Okay. How did you manage your own chorts? Nothing to it, really. Just give them something to do. The only thing is they can't manage every task well. Their job is to wreak havoc. They don't like any other sort. How did you come to be a Kaldun, Grandpa? Well, told you the other day about the demon stealing Timothy. That's the reason for it. If you guys missed the last episode, he actually got his brother taken by a lechik, I think, like a, a nature demon. So fighting the pointy tailed. That's why he ended up becoming a you know, a witch. I heard once that shepherds are no worse. So I became a shepherd boy, helped Prakopi, the holy fool. I shouldn't mention him at night. Knew his way around the forest, that one, and how to find lost cattle. So I studied under him. Anyway, it's a long story. I'll tell you later how I received my knowledge. All right, Igor. It's not like I got it from him, anyway. Had to bust my butt. In any case, see how I managed to teach you. Appreciate that. Appreciated. Are shepherds really knowers? What makes you think they aren't? Why don't you try finding all the cattle in the forest without a demon's help? <laughs> One has to know how to ask the old man of the forest for help. And in case a demon steals a cow or something, huh? you, you have to be able to get it back. You'll have to learn. What did you think? Shepherds lie on their backs all day. You wish. I do, Grandpa. What kind of man was he, that Prakopi? Not a kind man at all. But of great knowledge. Cursed a lot of people. Practically earned a living that way. Nearly cursed me once. I think it's time to talk about all that stuff later with Igor. Didn't think I'd be seeking help from nowheres. I've always depended only on myself. My military service. Well, it's quite a story. Maybe later. Chess candy. All right, let's get the set off. Let's head to the fair first. At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. There's something for everyone here. Let's 
Let's talk to the peddler. Low prices. Come and see for yourself. Buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. Nothing of interest to me. Let's talk to the book merchant. Wisdom will empty your heart and be good for your soul. Oh, by Zagavers. Ah, let's get that. There we go. I'm gonna leave it at just one. Just one's fine. And we're going to head out. The fair was nice, but it's time to hit the road. You wander off course and walk onto the road more to the west than you had planned. You stumble upon a ragged man with rotten teeth and rotten eyes. You realize that it's a brigand. Traveling by night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous, and not only because of the evil spirits. The silence is broken by his hoarse voice. Let's just prepare to fight him. Well versed, attacking all enemies, and shield up. There we go. He's attacking for 10, so he is doing a lot of damage. I only have a protection of 6. So I'm going to be taking 4 hit points here. Not ideal, but it's okay. I don't think we're going to be able to do 20 damage to him. But we can certainly try. Just gotta whittle him down. He's attacking for eight, so we should take three this time. Come on, Vaseline. I need to get some. Well, I'll take the health. Take the health. And we'll attack for four. Can you attack yet? You cannot. He's attacking for eight. This is going to hurt. Yep. All right. Four, four, three. Should be down to four hit points now. I stealed coins, wow. I mean, I guess that's better than me dying, so. Let's heal. Heal goes, should go up. Oh, for two rounds now. Blessed. So we're gonna have our our you know companion here backhand him. And we're just gonna firm up and make sure that we don't take any damage here. I'm already at 14, I don't wanna lose any more. And our companion will take him out anyway. Alright, we're going to take the attack one for everybody. And let's go left. Near a small forest creek, you find a grassy meadow. Among other vegetation, you see one beautiful flower. It's blood red and bright even in the moonlight. You come closer and tie its stem with a silver thread. With a swift pull, 
You now have a new, valuable herb, Adam's Head. We're well aware you of Adam's Head. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. All right, let's go. Let's go find out what's up at this house. Fir branches poke into the empty windows of an abandoned hut. You are overcome by an unpleasant feeling. There's a good reason they call this place haunted. Let's step on inside. You squeeze into a slightly open door and clear away the cobwebs. It is dark and empty here. The dead silence gives you chills. You step inside the house and freeze in horror. Under the broken red corner lies a dead man's body. A broken accordion lies nearby, torn as if by a wild beast. You search the dead man and the izba. The former has a pouch with some rubles inside. We're just going to inform the village and give the money for the funeral. You tell about the dead man in the nearby village and use the money to pay for his burial and a funeral service. Peasants tell you that several years ago, someone took this skillful musician to an evening gathering during the dead of night. He hadn't been seen since. All right. Heading to the forest now? You walk through the forest. Grim trees hang from all sides, and strange noises are coming from the dark of the night. You freeze with fear when you notice two demons near an unearthed grave. They have already opened the coffin and are methodically skinning the dead body. Yeah, we're definitely going to interfere here. Overcoming disgust, you open the black book. The first Zagavar will be yours. There's certain, certain lines. Um, I'm not a nice witch by any means, but skinning people? Come on now. Alright, let's see how much damage I take from these guys. Block the first one, about to take two from him. I'll take four, knock him out. Take two. Alright. We'll end the turn there. That's one demon down. These guys look like little monkeys. Little monkeys. Alright, this should be enough to take him out. Beautiful. Bissalina. Well versed. Having dealt with the demons, you look around. A narrow trail stretches from the grave to the forest. You remember hearing about this place. This overgrown trail leads to an old cemetery. All right, let's go to the old cemetery then. You know about a cemetery nearby and decide to visit it. The tombstones that stand among the trees are enveloped in a gray fog. You look around, expecting an ambush, but everything is eerily quiet. Let's read a prayer. You pray for the repose of the souls that lie in this cemetery. The night is silent. You calm down and rest a bit. You're in luck. The grave diggers have recently dug up a grave. It stands open black and hungry, yet unoccupied. You scoop a small amount of fresh cemetery dirt into a sack and whisper some Zagavars. This soil will make your witchcraft stronger. 
You walk around the overgrown cemetery and look at the grave crosses while thinking of all the deaths that made this city of the dead. Who knows? Maybe Ikutniks were around in earlier times. Maybe some are buried here. All right, and then we're going to leave the cemetery there. Moving to the bridge. Remember, we are looking for a cross you hear necklace. A crack. Shrieking in pain, some unfortunate soul is being driven to hell by a devil. You pause in hesitation. Is this sinner's soul worth a fight? Eh. You hear a whip crack. Shrieking in pain, yeah. you call out to the devil. Both the enemy and the sinner turn their burning eyes towards you. It turns out that the sinner is one of the demons. You hold the black book close and prepare for a fight. Of course he is. Whoa. You, sir, are a chunky boy. A, a real chunkster. Take out the chunkster first. That's my fault. I completely forgot that I got full health from uh, praying at the um, cemetery. Four, eight, ten, and two poison damage. She should die this turn then. Not from us, but from the waste. Goodbye. Turn. Nothing but a flesh wound. There we go. And our companion can attack again, so we're going to have him do that first. And let's just guarantee his defeat here. Should be really easy. There we go. I like health. Let's head off to Stephens, or Stephen's Stone. In the shady ravine lies a great stone. It has the mark of a foot on its top that's filled with morning dew. There are quite a few candles around it. Here and there you notice offerings from the peasants of Yanidor. You drink the holy water and feel a surge of strength and confidence. Well, that's all good. Let's head to the swamp then. You see a swamp ahead. The damp soil squishes under your feet. You become cold and uncomfortable. Suddenly, a white ghost of a calf appears from the bog. It looks at you and does not move. We're going to go with a protective Zagavar. You read a protective Zagavar, and the ghost disappears. When you finish your sorcery, you realize that this calf was, in fact, a treasure. Striking it would make the calf fall apart into coins. You notice the burning eyes of demons nearby. Are they guardians of this treasure? D 
Dang, these guys got some hit points. So we're going to attack all enemies. Attack all enemies. Yeah. Okay, so that should do some damage. We're going to try to take out the guy with the most health first. There we go. Yeah, we just put a molly whopping on these guys. My defense is gone now, unfortunately. It is okay, though. We can go with waste one. Waste two. And then let's go with, you know, a shield myself. Absorb some of this damage. He's going to be taking six points of damage on his next turn. Oh, we just took six. That wasn't good. I can heal. I can heal. And then attack him, and the other guy will die on his own. So that should be perfect. Remember, if you guys are liking uh, Black Book, we are posting videos of this every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you guys are enjoying the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. It shows me that you guys love this series and you guys want to see it more often. And then also drop a comment in the comment section below on if there's anything I can do to improve this. Janidor is covered with a bright pre-dawn mist. Amidst the hollow silence, you hear sounds of the village waking up. With old Yegor's directions, you quickly find the house of Yevdakia Fokovna. Nikolai knocks on the carved gates, and you are soon greeted by the hostess. Remember, we are posting videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. God bless. God bless. God bless. God bless, indeed. And who might you be? We've come to speak to your daughter. Ha! Came to make fun of my Akulina. I won't let you. Leave us alone. Oh, uh, we want to help. Oh, we wouldn't dare. We want to help her. Help her? Many have tried. None have succeeded. What makes you think you can? Let's convince her. I know how your daughter is suffering. That's why I want to help. I know how. <laughs> Very well. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. It surely couldn't get any worse. My girl suffers from an ecotta day and night. Dang, so she's possessed by a demon. Akulina hides in the old church of transfiguration at night. The ecotta is not so violent there. That's where you'll find her. Thank you. Don't worry about your daughter. We will help. Well, God willing. God willing. Goodbye, Yvdakia Fokovna. Goodbye. The old church of transfiguration. A grim shadow in the crimson twilight of the early hours. The domes of this building tower silently over you. Hundreds of years and dozens of generations have passed under its roof. You can feel the wisdom stored within these majestic walls. All right, so we're gonna just gonna take a look around real quick. Ooh, there's a herb here, let's go grab that. There we go. Witches and warlocks treasure this herb. Right on. Come on. Nothing else down this way? Alright. Let's go talk to Nicola. I can't believe any Kotnitsu was hiding in the church. Well, you better believe Old it. Old stairs lead inside the church. Let's step inside.
The iconostasis has collapsed partially, as if it suffered a strong northern gale. The royal gates are crooked and no longer bar the entrance to the altar. It looks like some of the icons were torn out on purpose. Some of them stand facing the wall. So let's enter these gates. In the dim light, you notice a heap of rags where the Ikotnitsa Akulina lays. She seems to be sleeping. From time to time, the girl shudders from nightmares sent by the Chort to haunt her. Let's wake her up real quick. You call out to the girl. She jolts up and darts to the altar corner. Even amidst the gloom, you notice the way her arms are shaking. That's Who sad. Are you? Oh my gosh. Don't hurt me, please. <sighs> Frighten her and grab the cross. Guys, I know I'm not a good witch, but come Don't on. Don't be now. afraid, Aquilina, dear. We won't harm you. I'm Vasya. And this is Kola. We want to help you. <laughs> oh. Okay. We can get rid of Broshka. Let's get try rid it. of him. He won't leave by himself. Don't worry. I think I know how to draw his attention. I have to make the Ikota mad enough so that he leaves Akolina. How can I anger this particular chort? Alright, guys. I'm going to take a look through the notes, see what I can find about angering this short, and I'll pull you guys back once I find anything on it, hopefully helping me make a decision. Okay guys, so it looks like it's prayer, or it's images of the holy. So it could be the cross or prayer. Let's go with the cross actually. We'll put a cross around you now, ah. and he'll come out. But I already have a cross. So it's the prayer. I don't think this one looks like the holy icons. Take a look at the iconostasis. Yes, he made me deface the icons here. I'll draw a circle, and we'll start. Right. You sit Akulina in front of the iconostasis, and Nikolai puts the icons into place. You start to read a Zagavar. You learned it long ago but your memory doesn't fail you. The words of the spell ring out with a thundering echo. You almost manage to finish the ritual when Akulina suddenly pushes you. Taken by surprise, your incantation of magic words stops. The girl starts to convulse. The Ikota has emerged out of her. Oh my god. It's a kitty cat! <laughs> you call yourselves exorcists? Bruh. Oh my god. This Zagavar is dated. No one uses that commencement now. What kind of witch are you? So out of fashion. Yuck. Christ's kingdom! Yeah, thank you. Me and Nicola are on the same page. It's impolite to make mention of such kingdoms in front of demons, I have you know. And you can't just go displaying icons. I hate icons. Okay, so let's do it. So why don't you like icons? Have you seen many shots that do? Or maybe we should open a church. We could call it Saint Chart, eh? So you haven't figured out that I can't stand icons. A bit slow, aren't you? Let me put in a way you'll understand. They make me mad as hell. Okay. It's not that I'm against this new church. But she could at least make do without icons, right? <sighs> You're a cat inside a little girl's head. These drawings, not my cup of tea. It gives me shivers. Okay, let's ask about... Why do you haunt Akolina? Why do you torture the girl? That's no business of yours. Well, on the other hand, I don't have anything else to do. Oh, look at the king. Why not tell you? Okay, yeah, tell me. You see, I study demons. 
They fascinate me. There's nothing to tell, really. Yenidor used to be a wealthy churchyard near the springs. Merchants used to request prayers of thanks in this church when they returned from the north. I was once the Susetka of this church. A house spirit or hobgoblin lives under the hearth or in the goblet's cellar. Why would a church have a Susetko? Why not? The abandoned ones have much scarier things inside. Or am I not good enough? But now, no one lives here, no one visits the church. They only go to the stone one. So I crowd inside a colina out of boredom. Won't you leave the girl alone? I might leave her if you beat me. So you're the Kota Chort? Yes, the cat that is talking to you from her head right now, yes. So what if I am? Ain't I fine looking like a feline? What did you expect? A frog or something? A feline? He's a fi feline? You expect a frog? Feline. Cross. We need a Kalina's cross. Yes, I heard. I need lots of things too. Tell you what, witch. If you beat me, I might even do both. Give you a cross and leave the girl. Agreed. So be it, Broshka. Here I come, Vasilisa. Oh, jeez. Whoa. One hundred and fifty hit points, huh? Let's get waste going. Heal up. Go ahead and hit two. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Three waste damage, heal myself. Five damage. Get inside. If you kill the demon now, the girl will die. So you can't kill the demon on specific turns. Wow, okay. So we gotta be very careful here. I mean, we can still, we can still definitely hit him right now. Just because he's got so much hit points anyway that we're not even going to come close to killing the little girl. Okay. So, seven... 5, 12, 15. I think we should be safe for this turn. As long as he doesn't hit for harder than seven, or 15, we're safe. We blocked it. Good job. Now he's attacking for 11 again. A well versed, well versed. Okay, 10 points of damage, slowly but surely we are beating this kitty 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 cat, oh that's not good though, yes please attack again my friend, he's attacking for 13. Okay. This game is no joke with the combat, like, when you're on the main path and you're walking around, it's not that hard. But these bosses, they, they do a lot. Like, come on now. Get away from my Akulina! Away with you, demon!
heal myself. Let's hit some Adam's Adam's head. There we go. Heal myself. Adam's head up. And then an attack and another attack. There we go. He's not attacking us this round, so we should be good. <clears throat> so we cannot kill him for three rounds. It's alright, we're gonna use waste on him. And gesture. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. A lot of damage coming in. And we're going to use our Adam's head again. So I don't think this is going to kill him. Yeah, it won't. We're doing good, though. Not a lot of damage. But hey. Something's better than nothing. Waste, waste, and Adam's head. So I'm back to 26 hit points now, this is good. I'm about to lose 13 though, so. Yep. Oops. Go ahead and attack again. Plus three hit points. I mean, the... Not even worth it. Heal myself. Alright. Do what I can to withstand the onslaught. Back to maximum health. Our companion is still attacking, everything's going well. Looks like he's attacking for 14 this time. I don't want to use that, actually, I want to save that for different rounds, go with that. Am I healing myself? I am not. Adam said, just to stay in the game. This cat does not play, this cat is not playing. Alright, so we're going for a major attack here. Nice. So, it is not a good time to kill this guy. However, we're not going to kill them. Just trying to keep lowering them slowly and slowly. What? Plus 20 hit points for one turn? Okay, not fair.
Wow. One heal got him 20 hit points back. Whatever heal that is, I need that heal. If he does it again, I'm gonna go crazy. Now oh, he's getting ready to attack. Huh? All right, let's see. I don't have a lot of faith here. He's attacking for sixteen. Looks like I'm gonna hold out and take four points of damage here. I'll just crawl inside the girl. You won't get me there. Oh, no, you won't. I have a Zagover with your name on it. All right. We have to start working on our trash talk because she's not up to par here. Not at all. Just trying to survive the initial onslaught. There we go. He's attacking for 14. We can hit him with waste. Yeah, let's send a let's send an attack on him. I know we're gonna be taking 14 points of damage here, but we have to slowly start chopping down this giant health bar that he has. Yep. All right, take, take a chunk out of him. Come on. One hit point. Four hit points. Shield up. Attack. He's at 41. This is, I think, the lowest we've had him. Okay, so now we have to be careful. We do not want to kill him. Really? Okay. All right. Well, I'll just heal up. He's not gonna attack. I'm not gonna attack. Just healing. There we go. Yep. Heals for thirty or twenty. It's okay. Hit him with waste. Well versed. Should let's see, maybe ways to take off. Okay, so eight points of damage there. Bring him to fifty. Uh, now demonic strength. He's about to start attacking again. Gotta absorb the hit here. Alright, we got him to 39 this time. And we have waste on him, which is good. This has been a long fight. I can't lose now. Fifteen hit points, huh? Alright, hopefully I survive this. Shield up. Yep, 
Every couple turns, uh, he comes over and gives the demon a little backhand to the head. I like it. Waste damage. All enemies. Yeah, let's just keep going. I'm almost out of Adam's head, though, which is not good. But this should do some damage. Not a lot. 24. Ooh, I'm at 12. Get inside. So he's gonna get inside the girl. Which is fine. Hopefully this does a lot of damage to him. Four. Sixteen. He's getting there. Thirteen. So we can't kill. We cannot kill her for for two more rounds. He's got 13 hit points. Give him waste. I like it. Take our last Adam's head. So waste won't kill her. Oh, watch him use Parasite Aid. Oh my gosh. What attack. We can't kill her. But I don't think we're going to. That's 10. 10 hit points, 15 hit points. 19 hit points. I think this is going to cost him 19 hit points. Ten. Alright, lose your cat thing. So we can officially kill him. Two, six... I don't know if this is going to do it, but we can hope. Four. Yes. Yes. Oh wait, my gosh. Wait. Don't finish me off, Vasya. I'll tell you what. I'll leave Aquilina and come work for you. I can be useful. You'll see. I won't harm anyone. I'll be good. Work for me? I have plenty of charts already. Well, I'm not exactly a chore. I can be of use like a Susiepka, in fact. Actually, we don't have a Susiepka. That's not such a bad idea. What will Grandpa say to that? All right, I'll take you, but you better watch it. No joking around. Proshka leaves Akulina, climbs your left shoulder, and then vanishes into black flames. So it looks like we got a house cat. The girl crumples and falls down, exhausted. Her face looks calm and serene. Proshka won't poison her life anymore. You switch out Nikolai's cross for that of the Ikotnitsa. The crucifix looks old and rotten. The demon's power has left its mark. You hope that Akulina's soul was left untouched by- Now we have a cross. You see, Vasha? Ask, and ye shall receive. Big deal. A demon's cross. I love it. So Sietkas don't shine crosses either, I presume. But on the other hand, we could do without this rattle box chort. <laughs> Why are you calling a rattle box? Hush, Proshka. Don't be angry, Grandpa. He may be of use to us yet. All right, we'll see if it works out. All that's left for you is to get a name and a belt. Which will you start with? I suppose the belt is next. 
Well, let's start with the belt. Very well, then. Mm, to the spinner. Vasilisa and I are going to see the spinner. There's nothing for you to do there, Kolya. Understand? Sure did. Sure did. And one more thing. Don't say anything about the banya or the bride. True. The spinner can't stand demons, though she looks like one herself. <laughs> Got it? Got it. Time to go. Understood, Grandpa. It's time we were on our way. Yes, it's better go to her at night. Ooh. I've arranged a cart for us. Okay. Do you have any Kupala salve left? Kupala salve. If I only knew, we could fly, but feet will do. And uh, another thing. There's uh, this rich fellow, uh, Petrov is his name. He asked me to check on his field. Says demons are ruining his crops. That could have been us. It's in our not far there. from Pintyak. It so happens. All right, so let's pester with our chorts. Nice. Oh, is that just idle chorts? Yeah. Okay. Go hurt people's feelings. Let's talk to... Who Nicola was that with quick. the stove? As if I'd believe that you forgot how to kindle it. And then you got a bit too scared when the demon girl grabbed you with the fire. It is as you say, Wysa. It's not about the stove. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was this one incident. Since then, I'm not myself when I see any fire. I'm scared of it, something awful. That's exactly the reason why the lads dared me to go to the Banya. They heard the rumors and wanted to have a bit of fun at my expense. Only I'm not one to give up so easily. But why? What's wrong with fire? Uh, oh, it burns? It's a long story. You want to talk about your wife instead of uh, talking about, about the fire. fire? Would it take very long to tell the story? Maybe not that long. Anyway, don't be such a bath broom. I'll tell you some other time. Don't you have anything else to do? Fair enough, fair enough. Do you plan to marry that girl or not? Heck yeah, he does. Let's help her first, won't we? She must be a strong girl to pull through that sort of thing. Maybe Agreed. God sent her. Maybe. A demon? Sent by God? Well, she said she was a changeling, didn't she? The girls of my age are all married. Who would marry an old soldier anyway? Only a demon. <laughs> all right, goodbye. Okay, guys. Um, I think this is a great place to end the episode. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed Black Book, Please subscribe. We post new episodes of it every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Feel free to drop a like and a comment down below on how I can improve the channel for you. And as always, welcome to the wild side. Thanks, guys.